hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ronique and if it's your first time here you are most definitely welcome so guys today is Sunday and we're gonna be preparing a full meal so I have some peas in this pot that I've already washed I'm gonna be adding some fresh seeds into this and set this to boil So here I have some fresh seeds and I have some thyme some parsley some garlic some bell peppers scallion or green onion and I have some pimento seed I'm gonna be adding this to the peas because you know we want to get a lot of flavor in this peas right so guys I'm also gonna be adding some fresh herbs and spices that I blend and it's what it looks like a tablespoon so in this I have Scallion, thyme, onion, bell pepper, pimento seeds, garlic, and parsley. So guys, now I'm going to be adding some water to the peas and let this cook for 5 minutes and then I'm going to sink it. Because you know the peas is going to rise to the top. So we have to sink it so it can be cooked properly. So guys, after 5 to 10 minutes, as you can see, the peas has risen to the top. So we're going to be adding some water to this and let it sink. And then we're going to let this cook for at least 25 to 30 minutes. I'm going to be adding the water now. I'm going to cover this now and let this cook. Hey guys, so I'm now checking on the peas to see how we're progressing with it and this is what it looks like It's almost cooked So we're gonna leave this for at least I'm not gonna test it because I already know I've been doing this For a long time. So I know I don't have to pinch my peas to know if it's cooked So I'm gonna let this cook for another 15 minutes and come back so guys we're back and we're gonna be checking the peas for the last time i think this is pretty much done cooking i'm gonna remove one of these so as you see it's mashed so it's pretty much done cooking so what we're gonna be doing we're gonna turn off the stove and then we're gonna work on the coconut and here i have some coconut that i've Remove from the ox guys and I've cut or chopped into small pieces I'm going to be blending this and then I'm going to remove the juice or extract the coconut milk From this and then I'm going to be adding it to the peas that I have already cooked So guys, I've already blend the coconut and this is the amount that I've got. I think this runs out to be two and a half cups of milk so now I'm going to be pouring this into the peas. And I've removed the thyme and scallion that I've used to season this. Hey guys, so I'm going to be seasoning up my rice and peas. I'm going to go in with some parsley scotch bonnet some fresh thyme and some fresh scallion or green onion and i'm gonna set the stove and let it start boiling guys i'm also gonna be adding one tablespoon of maggi chicken flavored season i know it's chicken flavored nothing wrong with it you can use it same way two tablespoon of sugar a tablespoon of salt i'm gonna be adding this to the pot and I'm also gonna be adding some butter, a tablespoon of butter, a tablespoon of oil to this. And I'm gonna let this boil. And once it boil, I'm gonna be adding my rice. I'm so guys, my peas is now boiling. I'm gonna be adding my rice and I'm using white rice. I'm gonna stir this so the peas and the rice can mix together and I'm gonna leave this and let this 
cook for 25 minutes let's check on this rice and peas and wow oh my goodness you guys see that so shelly and nice oh my god this looks good i'm gonna let this steam for maybe five more minutes and then we're done this looks so good already guys our rice and peas is pretty much done and this so is we're gonna be working on our fried chicken now i've already added some oil to the pot i am going to be adding some garlic a scotch bunny pepper and some thyme i've already washed them so i'm gonna put them in hey guys here we have some flour and this is about two cups of flour and we're gonna be seasoning it up with the seasons that we already used to season the chicken and here we have one tablespoon of maggi chicken flavored season one teaspoon of black pepper one teaspoon of paprika and just a small amount of egg powder the egg powder is what's going to give the chicken a really nice color. So we're going to add this to the flour now. And we're going to mix this well. And then we're going to start coating our chicken with our flour. I won't be using any egg wash today. I'm just going to be using the flour. The so guys with clean hands, I went ahead and I mixed the season into the flour. I'm going to be removing a few pieces of the chicken now this is our marinated chicken and we're going to be adding a few pieces to the flour so we're going to fully coat the chicken into the flour and then we're going to add it to the oil that has been heating and I've already added some fresh herbs some garlic and some thyme and a piece of scotch bonnet to flavor the oil so we're gonna coat this pieces of chicken and come back it is fully coated so we're gonna be adding it to the oil now I know the pepper looks a little burn and the garlic but don't worry. I'm gonna give the chicken a lot of flavor. We're going to let this cook for 5 minutes on each side. So guys, it's time for us to turn the chicken over on the other side. Can you guys see that color on the chicken that the egg powder gives it? Guys, these pieces of chicken are pretty much done, so I'm going to be removing them from the oil. I'm going to try my best to drain out the excess oil. These chicken look so crispy and nice.
so guys my fried chicken is all done and this is what it looks like it looks so good and yummy oh my god i can't wait to dig in in this guys we're gonna be making some gravy i'm gonna be using some ketchup also some sugar some of my maggie chicken seasoning some vinegar and I'm gonna be adding some browning to this and then I'm gonna mix it I added some more ketchup to this I'm gonna be adding some water to it now just a small amount of water and I've added the browning We're just gonna let this simmer and come to a boil and then I'm gonna come back and show what it looks like so this has come to a boil so we're gonna mix it again guys this is pretty much done you know this doesn't take a lot of time to get done And it tastes so good. We're making some vegetables. I like to use my hands because I think it's way better when I do it like this and honestly I'm old school this is how my mom does it and this is how I've learned to do it so not that I can't use it on the chopping board but I rather it this way So guys, I've washed the vegetables already. I washed them in some vinegar. So these are some baby cabbages. So guys, we're finished shredding the car the cabbage. Sorry, and this is what it looks like. So now we're gonna work on the tomatoes. And we're just gonna be cutting them like this. So, guys, please do be careful when you're doing this. We don't want to lose our fingers. We're gonna continue to do this until we're finished.
guys i'm gonna be adding some vinegar to the vegetables also gonna be adding some sugar to this and that's just about the two ingredients and we're all done making this veggie So after adding the vinegar and the sugar, we're going to mix this together. Some people will say we're marrying everything. So that's basically what we're doing. Y'all can't tell me this don't look good. And guys, my hands are clean. And we are pretty much done. I'm set it in the fridge and let it chill. This is what my Sunday dinner looks like. We're going to tell my mom like Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video with your friends and your families. And guys, I'll be seeing you in my next one. Bye.